Hey guys, welcome back to another build. Now we have a poltergeist here. We're going to be going with a support. It's a very strong support. It is a strong... Wait, let me move this over there. Boom. There we go. It is a very strong special attacker if you want to use it as a special attacker. It's got very high special attack and nasty plot. But we're going to be using it as a support with the held item leftovers, which you can get from the Casper Alfred Daily Bro Shop. Max EVs in HP and defense, and then the impish nature, which is up in defense down in special attack, because our special defense is already insanely high, and this brings them closer together. Ability weak armor. The Pokemon's defense stat is lowered when it takes damage from physical moves, but its speed stat is sharply boosted. Now, we won't be keeping this, it's a uh, dreadful ability. There it is, a skill swap. We're going to be giving this to the raid opponent. And then we'll be using Astonish to actually speed things along and lower his defense. Which is going to be amazing. Yeah, Pokemon defense that is low. Yeah, defense. And then we have Reflect on Light Green to protect our team for five turns each. Well, enough said. Let's just get straight into the raid. So it's going to be an Alolan Duck Trio, eh? Challenge as a group. Let anyone join. We'll be back when we have three teammates. Okay, everyone's a physical attacker. Everyone's on the same level. We have an Ogre Pond, we have an Ursaluna, and we have a Quackerville. Let's begin. Also, don't use this against normal types. Wouldn't recommend it. Because if you are going to be one of the ones attacking, then you won't be able to attack it because you're a ghost type. Plot twist, I just use skill swap on one of my teammates. <laughs> and just throw the raid and skill quit. That, that looked like a GS ball. It was probably a V ball. I don't ever remember the GS ball. What a ball that was. Okay. Skill swap. There we go. Don't flinch me. Don't be that guy. Weak armor. No. But, uh, you know, speed did go up. Did I flinch? I flinched. Will I be faster now at least? Oh. Just let me be faster. Please. We get health back because... What, did you see how well we took that attack? Yeah, we use skill swap now. Now we're faster. Dunk Trail's very fast. So now you have weak armor. How do you like those apples? Hmm? Same. Yeah, it's doing more damage, of course. Weak armor, weak armor, weak armor. You see that? Easy. And now it'll probably get one shot by Earth Luna. So I'm just gonna atta attach it and the game's over. The raid's over, should I say. Because I'm pretty sure the... Uh, the Moon Saloon, I'm gonna call it. Probably use Belly Drum, right? And I didn't see it in nullifiers. Uh, I guess it's not gonna be over. I would have used Reflect if I knew. Okay, that's uh, that was fair enough. And Stomp picked up. Uh, is that a heal? That's uh, a team heal. Okay, I'm fast because that happened. Oh, he's also fast because he has the ability. Ah, touche. We're gonna use Reflect there. Had long rush, boom. Just damage everywhere. Yeah, if you have three of a actual physical attackers on the team, you don't really need to use the actual what's it called? Astonish. But if there's only say two of the people that are in the game and you're not communicating with each other, didn't get the memo, and uh, you're the only you've got you're a physical attacker, kind of. Uh, you've got one teammate who's a physical attacker, then using Astonish will speed things up. After you've got up your screens, of course. Boom. And the shield breaks. Earthquake. This guy. Ooh, did a lot of damage. Hopefully no one went down. Okay. It's looking like no one went down. I don't want anyone to go down. Remove negative effects. I'm gonna heal up while they finish it. And boom. It's over. Look at that hair. All gone. Amazing. Very quick. As you can see, a very unique Pokemon when it comes to supports. I will not catch you. I will not do it indeed. Okay, nothing really. Let's move on to the second raid. Okay, second raid is here. It's not making it easy for us. It is going to be a six-star Steel-type Alolan Executor. Let's uh, challenge the group and let anyone join. Okay, looks like we have Iron Hands, a Coridon, and Magmortar. Let's begin. Okay, sunlight's going up. Oh, and if you do want to, like, be more protective, then you can use Steel-type Terra for after you terrestrialize because it does has have a lot of resistances. 
There's the skill swap. Oh, Karate is using Flamethrower, don't do that. He does not have Harvest anymore. We have it. Mohaha. <clears throat> is he a Dragon Hammer? He's a mixed attacker, right? Okay. Ooh, this could be dangerous. I'm not gonna... Oh, Magmar's special attack as well, isn't he? I'm gonna put Reflect up. Nullify, that's fine. Oh, wait, that's not fine. Ooh. <clears throat> Iron Hand's just used... Belly Drum, and now it's got no attack. It, yep, I'd figured that would happen. Reflect. I've got to get Reflect on Light Screens up, because... Looks like people... Honestly, Coridon's having Flamethrower is cr crazy to me. Like, considering we're against a Steel-type Terror, and Coridon is a Fighting-type, and has Drain Punch. Kinda, kinda crazy. Okay, now he's using Drain Punch. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hypnosis. Interesting. <clears throat> we fell asleep. That's fine. Is he a minus six yet? Minus two. I didn't think he'd be anywhere near minus six. Just checking there. Oh, Rage Bug. Yep. A healing. We need to heal here. Mag Magmotor's... Honestly, Magmotor's not even setting up or anything. It's just Flamethrower over and over again. So, Mag... It might as well treat this raid as though Magmotor's not here. But we do have to keep it alive or we'll just lose loads of time. Hypnosis. Is that... Yep, that's fine. We'll just keep using cheers. We actually... We already put our uh, weak armor up and we already put up both screens, so it doesn't make a difference to me. Uh, belly drum. Okay. <clears throat> Honestly, it comes to a point where... Like, uh, you don't even need to help when, if you're a physical attacker, like, after I use skill swap. Um, yeah, I'll use Astonish. There's the Dragon Armor. Obviously, we have the screen still up. I think that was the last turn of the physical one. Using Astonish there, lowering its defense because of weak armor. Speed won't go any higher. And now uh, the Iron Hands is going to be doing a lot more damage after every defense trap, of course. Right, the shield, they're very nice. Nullified, that's fine. I'm not gonna lie. Trick room, <clears throat> that'll just make everyone go before it because it does have max speed. And now I'm gonna use another heal chair to wake up the Iron Hand so he can finish off the Executor. I'll, only Pokemon I trust in this raid out of the four people. Oh, it didn't actually finish it off. Interesting. Maybe it removed negative effects at some point? Who knows? Is it still on another Drain Punch finisher anyway? So, well, let me check. You know what? I'll astonish the Magma. Disgraceful. Anyway, that was uh, another quick raid. That was more questionable than the last, but quick. So, let's not catch you. Ah, nothing again. We're gonna do another one just for fun. Because those two fell, fell really quick. And this one is actually going to be really challenging. It's going to be a six-star steel-type crowd on because it does have crunch, that type. So we're going to challenge as a group, let anyone join. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so it looks like we have Iron Hands, Chestnut, and we've got the fancy Dialga, the origin form. But he's not ready up. But as soon as I ready up, then it was communicating top left, so I don't really know what's going on. You know what? We'll do it just the three of us. Boom. The, the other person left as soon as I read it up because he saw that I was a ghost type when we're fighting a dark type. That's what I assume, anyway. This is the ultimate test. We've only got two teammates and we are weak to the Pokemon we are fighting who has extremely high attack as well. We have an Arcanine. That helps. Okay, skill swap straight away. Please be faster. Uh, why did you attack? I've, honestly, I'm surprised the Iron Hands didn't use Belly Drum turn one. Oh, I got adaptability. Haha. -ha. In your face. Crunch, yep. Yeah, in my face. Yeah, okay. Yep. That's. And it drops our defense. You know, why wouldn't it? What is it? 25%? It, it feels like it does it every time. Removes negative effects from itself. Okay. It's going to be well fast now, though, isn't it? Oh, it's actually. Yeah, it is. Uh, reflect. I probably go down here. Must recharge. Ha! Huh. Okay, there's the Reflect. Boom. What's he gonna do? Drain Punch? Honestly, I think we might have potentially saved this raid by using Skill Swap. Because... Oh wait, no. 
I spelled chestnut set up a little bit. But the actual iron hands doesn't have set up, it looks like. There's the lay. That's dangerous. But so it's it's proper strange. You don't see that every day, eh? The amount of setup it has access to. Yeah, it's not used any. I'm gonna use a hang tough chair, because it has used lay. This will just buff our defenses a bit. Okay, very nice. The drain, drain Punch is doing a lot of damage at the minute. Obviously because uh, its defense keeps going down every time it gets attacked by Chestnut or Iron Hands. It puts its shield up. Arcanine on like 2 health. Okay, I'm hoping that uh, they can do some real damage, even though the shield's up. Boom. Swords Dance. Ooh. It's just over, isn't it? Wouldn't it? We don't. No, we will keep this alive. The heal. Full heal for Arcanine. Guaranteed. Oh, maybe not. Half heal. And uh, this is where we go. We go down. We go, oh, we must recharge. Eat that. Hold that. That was uh, amazing. Can we do a on raid? Without um without going down as a poltergeist, that would be incredible. I can't lie. I'm gonna use a heal because he has used Sal's dance, and that's very dangerous. If it's meant to be, it'll happen. But we're on full health, so he has lowered our defense and used Lee. He must recharge. Ha! Ah. Eat that, and we take him out with two thirds, maybe more time remaining. We don't. Nobody goes down. Amazing. Oh, I'll just... That is astonishing. You see what I did there? Yeah, I know. Amazing. And that's going to be our Poltergeist. Yeah, you, you got another raid there to prove that it is, in fact, amazing. But I hope you have enjoyed this. It's one of my favorite sports. I'll put the last build that we did on screen right now. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more fun builds. And I'll catch you on the next one.